Hi, it's Paula and we've been using shapes to um, add information to our point files and I'm just going to show you how I did that and get something ready for Power BI. So I went to the Alberta government. I am looking up the Alberta Health uh, shape file and there it is. So I'm going to go to it and uh, there's a bit of information about it, several formats. A bit of information, but not a lot of metadata that we can use to describe the attributes that will end up with the file. So I'll go back and download the shape, which is an Esri shape file. Not the best format uh, today, but it's sort of that de facto standard and I can easily get it into so many pieces of software. Once it's down, I'm going to extract everything it has. And you can see it has way more than just the local geographic area aggregate that I want to use, which is okay. So I'm just going to show you what we got downloaded um, and put it into QGIS. The points are just there for reference. We used them before. Um, you may or may not have seen that video. I'm going to grab that aggregate local geographic area. And it's as simple as that, right? You take the shape file only, you drag it in, and it knows exactly where to find everything else. I'm going to take that information icon and uh, see what's in there. There's some good stuff in there. We're definitely going to use that uh, name to join up with other information. I'm going to go to properties, and we're just going to check what the cartographic reference is. And it is uh, NAT A3, but projected, um, which is not going to be usable in Power BI. And uh, we also want to have it uh, just over Calgary and have, I'm going to check the CRGS of the file that I've supplied in data.world and it is WGS84 and that's what we're looking for. I just projected it on export and um, the shapefile that is over Calgary is supplied here. I'm going to show you how I take that shapefile and create this JSON file that we will use in Power BI. To do that, we have to convert it to a topo JSON file, and we will use MapShaper to do that. We'll go to the website um, and then select all the files and just drop them into where it says and hit import. There it is. Looks great. And what we need to do is export it. Check that it's WGS84, because that's what Power BI requires. And select top of JSON, and there we go. We have it in our downloads. So that's how it was made. Uh, you don't have to go through this unless you want to as a learning exercise, because we supply that file there, and there it is in data.world, and you can download, and we'll start using it in Power BI.